right, so we got a quick connect on a 2018 Ford Edge. So we got all the instructions here. Part number CQT56292. This is for a Ford Edge. Titanium or sports, either or, from 2015 to 2018. So to go ahead and start on this, basically you're going to have to remove the spare tire, all the insides, as well as customer goods if they do have any. Um, but what we're going to do is actually run the wires down through here. We're going to take the tail lights off. One issue I did run into is it is very hard to get this tab out of here. Um, I went ahead and actually used a trim tool to get that out of there. It's just a little clip like that. Um, it is very hard to get out of there without, you know, damaging the plastic in any ways though. I don't know if you can see that little mark right there. It's kind of what happened when I tried using a screwdriver and found out that's not the best way to remove it. So get yourself a body trim tool. Well, these ones probably won't work. They're too big. Um, but yeah, you need a trim tool for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take the other side off. And I got a customer. So I'm done helping the customer. Let's see if I can finish getting this out of here. Alright, so now that the cap is taken off. Go ahead and take this screw out. Oh boy. It's a hack screw. Right, well, Phillips ain't gonna work. We'll need a hex bit. All right. T25 for the hex bit if you guys are looking for this. Go ahead and, uh, geez, you're gonna pull the tail light out. Shouldn't come out that easy. We're going to set the tail light aside and we'll take our harness. And we'll plug our harness into the plug. Just like that. And then the tail light plugs right into this new harness or plug-in. And then you do the same for the other side, only you have to run these wires down and through. Uh, these vehicles are a pain to get the wires down in between this small slot. You know, you can barely even fit your fingers in there, but dealt with it once before. Uh, kind of figured out how you do it. It's not easy, it takes forever. All right, so I got the quick connect um, into this tail light. What I did, rather than to run it actually down through underneath the bumper, I just pulled this trim package back, or the um, body. There's clips, three clips right here. So you'll pop those clips. This will pop out, run the wire. I don't know if you can see it a little bit right there. I just ran the wire through the trim up through here down into this cavity because the power wire is going to go through this and then this side for the right tail light it's going to pop that off just like the last tail light it's kind of a hard job to do with one hand so bear with me so you're going to unplug that set the tail light aside again all right and i'll show you what i did for the other side so you're just going to pull back on here. I don't want to break it, so I'm going to use two hands for this. Just like that. So there's a clip that has to pop out, so you're going to pull backwards right there. You might feel like you're going to break it, but you're not. They're just clips. Um, well, I mean, you got to be careful, obviously. Uh, some of the clips could break, but now that you got it like that, Sorry for the not focusing, I'm using my phone for this since I don't have any other device at the moment. Then you're gonna plug in the other side. And then what I did on the other side, I'll show you right now, you're gonna run that wire down in between there. 
Actually, I'm gonna unplug that. So you're gonna pull this trim up, weather strip, slide it through there, and then you're gonna plug it in. And then, you, you know, you kind of get the point. You're gonna hide the wires in between the body so that the customer doesn't see it, uh, more appealing to the eye. Um, and then, once I get to the next step, I'll be right with you. All right, so now that it's all hidden, I'm gonna pop this back into place. Like so. So I'll pop back. As you can see, it is very hidden. Uh, looks like we got quite a bit of extra cord, so I'm gonna kinda shorten that up a bit. So then you're gonna take your ground wire, ground it to the frame, your power wire, your power wire is gonna go through the hole, down under the frame, up into the hood where the battery is located. And you're going to hook up this fuse in between the battery and the power wire. Here is the power wire, here is the fuse. All the stuff you need comes with this kit. Other than that, um, I'm pretty sure you guys should all know how to run a power wire. Just like that. And then you're gonna plug the hole, just like that. So you got a tight fit. Nothing's gonna get through that hole except for the wire, the power wire. And then the power wire is going to run to this connection. So you're gonna take your butt connector and put them together. Pretty simple. Uh, so I think this concludes the video. This is the hardest part of the wiring job is actually figuring out how to run these wires. The first time I did this, I had to run the wires all the way down through the bumper and it is a pain. Um, so now that I found this way, I figured I'd share it with you guys uh, so that you guys don't have the same struggles that I did. Um, so I'm gonna get back to work and get this all taken care of. Maybe I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like.